Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, this is Mona and this channel is all about fashion, handbags, shoes, lookbooks, kinds. So if you like such content, please do subscribe to my channel. So as you can see, I'm doing today's video sitting in my patio. So you may hear some uh, ambience noise. It's a little windy, little breezy I would say, outside and we have a tree right next to our patio. So it may be a little bit noisy, but I thought it's a, a maybe a different kind of uh, background for you guys rather than me always sitting inside my bedroom. So as the title says, today's video is going to be a one year wear and tear of my Louis Vuitton Neverfull in a size GM. So this is the bag we are going to talk about today. Um, I bought it in the size GM. For reference, I am a height of 5'2 and about 100 LBs. Many, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where they say GM size may be a little uh, too much for a petite frame. But uh, I went to the store, I tried both GM and MM. I have other style, other, I do have other tote bags like my coach bag and um, the Tory Birch Perry tote, which is almost the same size of the MM. So I didn't want to buy the MM size. So when I tried the GM size, I actually liked it. So at the end of this video, if you want to know how it looks on me, please stay tuned to the end of this video to see the mod shots. I'll try to wear this bag in different uh, variations so that, so that you'll have some better idea. Uh, so I I bought it in the in the print uh, Damier of the Bean. When I bought this bag, I was very sure that I'll be using it a lot to work on a, on a lot of occasions. I was planning to wear this bag, so I was a little scared to buy the the monogram print uh, or because of the untreated leather of getting of it getting uh, strained or something. So I went ahead and bought the uh, Damier Ebene print and I'm super happy uh, buying it. So I bought it in the Damier Ebene and I'm so happy that I bought it in this uh, particular print because it is actually very very carefree. I can place it down somewhere, I can, I don't have to worry too much about the handle or the leather getting um, or damaged or anything. As you may already know, this bag comes it with its own um, uh, pochette. I would like to uh, do a special mention to it because this piece I have used more than my bag itself. This one goes in almost all my bags, unless or until if I'm carrying a very small size bag, I don't put it in my bag. But most of the other totes or a satchel type of bag, this goes in. The purpose of this bag is of this pouch is it always has my like house keys and other keys, a card and my ID and a, a, a lip balm. So whenever I have to rush out for a like, quick uh, quick something, maybe to the park or to a quick shop nearby or for lunch to home, I just grab this one. This is very stylish, chic and it is pretty much spacious enough to put in a lot of stuff. It also comes with the same red interior and it's very very pretty. So I usually carry it like, like this. Most of the members always carry it and I love this piece so so much. Even if there is a point where I have to sell my uh, Neverfull, I don't think I'll be selling this particular piece. Um, having said that, I have used this piece almost like every day for the last year and a quarter. As I said, I bought this bag uh, last January, so it's now April. So more than for like 15 months I've used this pouch. It's pretty much in brand new condition. I don't see any wear at all. At least I feel it does not give any wear, any signs of wear. The bag has some signs of wear. Okay, I will say I will like I will say that the bag do have some signs of wear, but not nothing too major. But this pouch, no wear at all. I love this so so much. Moving on to the bag itself, it's a huge huge bag, as you can see. Okay, it comes with um, uh, a lock kind of closure in the front. Otherwise, it's an open style uh, tote. It comes with this leather part on the side so that you can like cinch in the bag if you want to make it a little bit smaller and you can put it. I'll show those things at the end of this video so we'll have some idea. So the bag as such um, has held really really well. Um, I always use this bag with a bag organizer. Without a bag organizer, for me at least, it is very difficult to use this bag because it's a huge, huge huge like a huge um, bottomless pit it's very huge I love the red interior you can see see in the camera it's like popping up really 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 well I love the red interior it comes with a zip 
pocket on the inside. It's, it's very spacious. Um, as uh, I do sometimes, I put in my phone inside, but um, since then I have my organizer always in it. Uh, I have never seen a you need for putting too much stuff in there. But if you have, if you have something like um, some important like items like your phone or your wallet which you want to secure, this is the place I would say you have to uh, put it. So this organizer is from uh, a Samorga, and I really love it. This is for this is specifically for the Neverfull GM size. Okay, this bag particular organizer has made the made the use of the bag very easy. If you know what I mean. Yeah. So it has a lot of compartments, as you can see. I can put a lot of stuff in it. It even has like a compartment for to put in my uh, laptop. So this comes very handy to use my uh, Neverfull uh, GM bag. So moving on to the wear on this bag. Bag. I usually wear store this bag like hanging it on the wall so it make it it will go like this on a class on my bedroom. So sometimes I see um, like a paint or something getting uh, uh, over on the canvas or some dirt may come up on the canvas. It's very easy to clean it. So what I do is I take a baby wipe and I just gently rub it. You can go even a little um, inside the indentations as the canvas. You hear the sound, so it has some uh, a rough texture. So if something gets inside the textures, you can still like use like this. You can still clean it like this using a a, a baby wipe. It's it's very easy to clean. Let me give you a close up shot of how the canvas looks like now. It's still pretty much in a brand new condition. But as you can see, the leather trimming on the bag has some slight, you see that? Yeah, let, yeah over here. Yeah, so a slight, um, it's not like cracking. So that's the nature of the Tamir Ebene, a leather. It's, it will have some light, um, like what, like a, like how it's if it gets crushed how it looks so something like that but it it will not show up too much when you are on a distance so when you're a little far it doesn't show up at all the bags will look pretty much like this on the leather on the handle I don't see any wear at all just on this trimming over here, I do see that like very slight, gen, like very slightly, like a very, um, it's very, that wear is showing up very, very lightly. It does not show up at, on your face. And that is the nature of Tamir Ebbing. If you are going to buy Tamir Ebbing, you should understand that that is how the wear is going to be on the trimming of the bag. And I don't see too much wear on the sides. On the sides where, where it has more work, that is where I see a lot of that um, wear on the leather. On the interior, since I use it with a bag of an organizer, there is nothing, there is nothing, no wear at all, I would say. There is no wear at all. It's pretty much in very, very clean, very good condition. And let's take a quick uh, look of the corners. So the corners, as you can see, I don't see too much wear. It's pretty much intact. Still, it, it is still in the same condition as how uh, it was when I brought uh, when I bought it from the store. Yeah. So that's all the corners, and the bottom is still. It's very clean. It does not get easily strained. As I said, with this print, I have had no problem at all. It's been always so easy to maintain and clean this bag and to use this bag. So the places where I tend to use this bag more would be like mostly, most of the times I carry it to work. Um, it's a bag, it's a, it's a cool tote. So on casual Fridays when I dress up with jeans or something, I, I like to carry this bag so I can easily throw on my laptop and it really gives me a cool vibe to my uh, look. 
And um, I carry it also to travel when I want to. This is too windy today. And I like it because it's been like very hot in Arizona for the last week or so, and it's like pretty okay today. Okay, so the next place, uh, the, so the other place where I often wear this bag would be when I, when I want to travel. So I, when, I, when I'm on a road trip, I carry this bag put to put all my essentials for a road trip. And all those times, the bag organizer goes outside my bag. It's, there are two purposes for the bag organizer. One, as the purpose of the, the name itself, it helps me to organize things inside my bag. The second purpose, which I seriously love a lot and I also would recommend the same to you guys, would be to keep your bag clean. With a big tote like this, when you go on a trip or you go out with the boys on a road trip, on an airplane trip or a work or anything, it's easy to drop things inside the bag and you may end up in getting strains inside the bag. So a bag organizer will help you to keep your bag clean and also organized. So never hesitate to use a bag organizer. It's, it's two in one. And in my, uh, in my own opinion, I think this bag gives more of a, a casual look more than like a formal look. Though uh, it's a tote, it's like I feel it's of more like a casual vibes to it. I usually don't wear this to a day where I have to be more a professional. Uh, on a days when I have to, uh, when I'm dressing up like in a suit pant and like a blazer and put on my like a formal shoes, like a, a heels, I don't prefer to use this bag. On a days when I wear the same blazer or jeans and like in a sneakers, I would like to carry this bag. So that's a uh, how I personally prefer this. You may, you may uh, style it differently, but that's how I mostly style, uh, prefer to style this bag. So as we have talked about all the good factors about this bag, there are also some cons to this bag. One, since it's a huge bag, you may tend to put in more stuffs into it, and it may make the bag heavy. And since you will carry it on your shoulder, it may it may dig inside your shoulder a lot, but not too comfortable because the bag is a little bit balanced, and the leather um, the strap on the bag, the handle on the bag is also comfortable, but still it will get heavy, and and it's up to you how you want to carry it. Um, so on the days when I have when I when I know it's going to be on the road, like when I'm on the road, when it's going to be in the car most of the time, and I'm not going to carry it, I may end up overloading the bag. But on the days when I know I'm going to carry my bag a lot, I don't prefer to overload it. So that is a one con. And the other con is since it's an open style uh, tote, on the days when you, um, there, there, there could be some occasions where the bag may topple and the belongings in the bag may spill out. So to avoid that, um, that this is my, um, this is how I work it out. So I use some scarf, depending on the occasion, be it a light scarf or a, a chunky scarf. I would like to take a big scarf, depending on the season, and I would, once I have done packing the things inside my bag, I put the scarf on top of this bag. So like once a bag is done, I, I put the scarf like, okay, like this inside so that it, it, it acts like a barrier from the things of, it acts, it, it acts like a barrier and uh, helps the thing from not falling out very easily. So you have to keep in mind when, it, when you're carrying this bag that it's an open style bag and you have to be careful that you place it in a way, especially in the uh, airport when you are on uh, um, security check, you have to place it in a way so that the things don't get spilled out easily. I have traveled to, uh, with this bag a lot in the plane but have never had one accident so far because I know that it may spill and I pack it accordingly. The other con would be if you um, if you use this bag without a bag organizer, this bag may become a um, little bit cumbersome to use because as you can see it's a huge bag, it opens up so much and if you start putting in things like oh, your keys, your wallet, your this and that, your lipstick, your makeup pouch, all those things into this big thing without an organizer, you may find it difficult to pick things out of this bag on a, on a if, you, if you are an emergency and you quickly need your um, phone, it may not be very easy to dig, it, dig inside this bag when you don't have an organizer. So that's why I'm saying if you are planning to buy this bag and you are planning to use it, please try to use it with an organizer so it may life becomes easy for you with this uh, bag. So 
as I said, for reference, I'm 5'2", and this is the most, uh, this, is, this is the preferred style of, I would like to carry this bag. Um, I like to be like an open style, a tote, and I really think it's like, it gives me a casual cool look. Um, I do carry it like this sometimes, like when I'm on a short walk, if my shoulders get a little uh, painful, but I usually carry it like this. So the other way uh, this bag can be worn is like this, by cinching in the sides and by locking it like this. Um, so you can just lock it like this and the bag will stay like this. On both the sides I've done it. And it will give a smaller look to the bag. Um, but by, by cinching in the sides, I will not be able to put my bag organizer in it. But I can put my speedy uh, 30 bag organizer in it if I want to. But I usually don't uh, carry it like this. So those are the two styles in which you can carry this bag and I hope you, I, you found this video helpful. If you found it helpful, please do leave your comments down below and also do a, and also your thumbs up. See you guys next time. Bye bye.